Today I'm starting a watch fast with this military watch, 1980s RAF Gen 1. So uh, watch fast is something that uh, two broke watch, uh, two, two broke watch snobs come, come, come up with. Uh, so what it means is for one month, uh, you are wearing uh, the same watch. Uh, you don't uh, change it to other watches. You basically, that's your only watch uh, for that month. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're gonna learn a lot. You're supposed to learn a lot uh, about <laughs> about yourself, <laughs> about your watch. <laughs> so I thought it's gonna be fun. Uh, I never did it before. That's gonna be my first uh, watch fast. Uh, yeah, l l let's do it. Uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's the watch uh, I decided uh, to do it with. So um, this, uh, yeah, let's, uh, if, if, if you don't know, uh, this is a vintage watch from uh, 1980s. Uh, this is watch uh, that was used uh, by uh, British military. Uh, so basically this watch that you couldn't buy it, uh, the only way you could get this watch is uh, if you are a RAF pilot uh, in British military, then uh, you would be issued this watch. Uh, and they like they they were uh, never, never sold. So this is like true uh, military uh, issued watch. So is this a good candidate uh, for a watch fast? <laughs> so <clears throat> first of all, um, uh, it's it's a vintage watch. So I need to uh, address uh, the waterproofness. Uh, so during that month, that that's my only watch to to, to wear, right? So that sometimes it's gonna be raining. Uh, so so I need uh, I need this to be uh, able to handle uh, different uh, wet situations. Uh, so uh, before starting the watch fast, uh, my uh, watchmaker uh, pressure tested it. Uh, so you can uh, you can see the report right now. And this watch uh, this watch was so service some time ago in 2012 I think uh, but the main uh, the main thing is uh, it was recently uh, pressure tested so uh, this watch will handle rain and will handle um, any any wet situations I'm, I'm not gonna be swimming with it so that's the only thing I'm not planning to swim in the next uh, 30 days uh, another thing this watch is very tough I mean, this is like a real military equipment, right? Uh, also, despite that it's vintage watch, uh, it has a mineral uh, glass, uh, which is which is pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty tough. Uh, it has this over-engineered uh, 15 dual quartz movement. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, this movement can handle pretty much anything. Uh, another thing is uh, this watch is pretty versatile, uh, so uh, pretty much it's gonna match any. Uh, so so I, I dress casually. Uh, it's gonna match uh, any of uh, my casual clothes. Um, uh, the only thing so it's versatile, but with limitations. So like if you are dressed very um, formally, like you're wearing tux or something, then. It might be tough, or you will look like like James Bond <laughs> with an A character. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I don't think I need that. Uh, so yeah, so in the next month I should be fine. Fine. In worst case, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear something like, uh, and I'm just gonna, gonna look like James Bond. It's gonna be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, another thing, I have a bunch of straps. Uh, for for this watch, so I have this uh, Erica's uh, original uh, strap for military watch. I actually made a bunch of videos about my straps, so you can see this video over here if you want. So this is one. Uh, another uh, strap that I have, I have this uh, boon strap. It's a, this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool uh, strap. I'm gonna be wearing it. Uh, I also you can like click here and you can uh, watch my video about this strap. Uh, another strap I have I have this uh, crown and buckle uh, chevron. It matches matches this watch uh, very well. Um, it's gonna it's gonna look very well on this one. And for kind of more like dressy situations, I made this. Uh, so this is Hirsch uh, open-ended st strap. Um, yeah, I also made the I also made the video about it. You can <laughs> you can you can watch it over here. Uh, but this this is also very uh, very good. Uh, 
uh, very good companion uh, for and, and match for, for, for this watch. Uh, it kind of gives this uh, pilot's uh, look and it works with military watches with the solid solid bars like, like, like this one. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I think this this will be a good good uh, good match for uh, watch fast. And the most important, this is a great uh, watch for coronavirus pandemic. Yes, because you need uh, some real military equipment to uh, save you from coronavirus. Now you know. <laughs> okay, so so basically, can I do it? I I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna I, I'm gonna be able to, to do it, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so basically, after thirty days, um, I'm planning to uh, make uh, a re review. Of, of this uh, array of Gen, Gen 1 watch uh, and I will tell you kind of like what I learned uh, during my uh, watch fast um, uh, and yeah it's gonna be full full review and if you are watching uh, this uh, video in the future then you will be able to see that uh, review over here uh, but yeah, if you're watching this in the future, why are you watching this video? Like, you should just go and uh, watch my, my review, it will be much more interesting than this one. Uh, yeah, so uh, wish me good luck. Uh, if you like vintage watches, uh, here's what you need to do. Uh, you need to click somewhere here on my face and uh, check out uh, my channel about uh, vintage watches. Uh, I hope you will like it. Uh, you should consider subscribing because I'm going to be making more and more uh, videos about vintage watches in the future. Okay, thank you. Bye.